decimation in time algorithm or we call it as DAT algorithm. There are two basic classes of FFT algorithm. One is decimation in time and the other one is decimation in frequency. The basic idea behind all fast algorithms for computing the FFT is to decompose successively the endpoint DFT into computation of smaller size DFT. In decimation in time algorithm, the sequence X of N is decomposed into smaller subsequences. Whereas in decimation in frequency, the sequence of DFT coefficients that is X of K is decomposed into smaller subsequences. Here we are going to see about decimation in time algorithm. Let us assume that the input X of N represents a sequence of N values where n is an integer power of 2. The given sequence x of n is decimated, that is broken into two n by 2 point sequences, consisting of the even numbered values of x of n and the odd numbered values of x of n, that is x of 2n for even numbered values of x of n and x of 2n plus 1 for odd numbered values of x of n. Let's represent x of 2n, that is even numbered values of x of n as f1 of n and odd numbered values of x of n, that is x of 2n plus 1 as f2 of n, where n equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 because we have split that x of n which is an n point dft into 2 n by 2 point sequences. Thus f1 of n and f2 of n are obtained by decimating x of n by a factor of 2. The resulting FFT algorithm is called this decimation and time algorithm. We know the endpoint DFT of the sequence x of n is given by x of k. We can also represent the DFT equation with the total factor. 8 point DFT can be represented as a block with the input small x of 0 to x of 7 and the output capital X of 0 to capital X of 7. Now we break x of n into even and odd numbered values of n. Here we change the upper limit from n minus 1 to n by 2 minus 1 since we have broken this x of n into odd and even. Here we replace n with 2n for even values of n and n with 2n plus 1 for odd values of n. We know w n total factor will be equal to e power minus j 2 pi by n. So Wn square will be equal to that e power minus j 2 pi by n into 2. This can also be written as e power minus j 2 pi by n by 2. So which is actually equal to Wn by 2. So in the next step, whenever we are getting Wn power 2, we are going to replace by Wn by 2. And in the next second summation, we are going to split the Wn power term into 2. Now in the second summation, uh, summation is for the variable n, so we are going to take w n power k outside the summation. Here by mistake f1 and f2 are given with index m, but actually it is f1 of n and f2 of n. The first term is the DFT of uh, sequence f1 of n, that is f1 of k. And second term is the DFT of the sequence F2 of M, that is F2 of K into WN power K, where F1 of K and F2 of K are the n by 2 point DFTs of the sequence F1 of N and F2 of N. Since F1 of K and F2 of K are periodic with period n by 2, F1 of K plus n by 2 can be written as F1 of K, and F2 of K plus n by 2 can be written as f2 of k because f1 and f2 are periodic with period n by 2. Here in equation 5, we replace k by k plus n by 2. In the second term, we are going to use the symmetric property. When we apply equation number 6 in equation number 7, we get this equation. Here we use equation 5 and 8 to draw the first stage of decimation. In this figure, the endpoint DFT is divided into two n by two point DFTs. The first n by two point DFT corresponds to even values of x. 
the second n by 2 point dft corresponds to odd values of x the n by 2 point dft of small f1 of n corresponds to capital f1 of k the n by 2 point dft of f small f2 of n corresponds to capital f2 of k equation 5 gives x of k equation 8 gives x of k plus n by 2 here k will be varying from 0 to n by 2 minus 1 since this is 8 point dft k will be varying from 0 to 3 x of 0 is a combination of f1 of 0 and f2 of 0 multiplied with w8 power 0 so we are going to draw a line from f2 of 0 to x of 0 similarly for the other values of x of k for finding the next four values we are using x of k plus n by 2 here k is varying from 0 to n by 2 minus 1 that is 0 to 3 x of 4 is a combination of f1 of 0 minus f2 of 0 multiplied with w8 power 0 so we are going to draw a line from f1 of 0 to x of 4 similarly for the other values of x of k plus n by 2 now we go for second stage of decimation in the first stage of decimation we have divided x of n into x of 2n and x of 2n plus 1 that is f1 of m and f2 of n now in the second stage we are going to divide f1 of n into even values of n and odd values of n that is f1 of 2n and f1 of 2n plus 1 similarly f2 of m we are going to divide into f2 of 2n and f2 of 2n plus 1 the DFT of f1 of n is given by f1 of k. Here f1 of k is an n by 2 point DFT. So the summation is from 0 to n by 2 minus 1. And w uh, n power kn becomes w n by 2 power kn. Now we are going to decimate f1 of n by f1 of 2n and f1 of 2n plus 1. Here the n by 2 point sequence is uh, decimated into 2 n by 4 point sequence so the summation is varying from 0 to n by 4 minus 1 here we take f1 of 2n as small v11 of n and f1 of 2n plus 1 as small v12 of n here w n by 2 power k into 2n can be also written as w n by 4 power kn in the second term we are having w n by 2 power k into 2n plus 1 that can be split into w n by 4 power k n and w n by 2 power k. So we can write the second term like this and we can take w n by 2 power k outside the summation because it is a constant. First term is the DFT of v11 of n which is equal to capital V11 of k and the second summation equal to the DFT of v12 of n which is equal to capital V12 of k where v11 of k and v12 of k are periodic with the period n by 4. Therefore, v11 of k plus n by 4 is equal to v11 of k and v12 of k plus n by 4 is equal to v12 of k. By applying this in equation number 9, that is, we will get f1 of k plus n by 4. By applying symmetric property, w n by 2 power k plus n by 4 is equal to minus w n by 2 power k. Therefore, the previous equation can be written like this. Similar to f1 of k, f2 of k can be written like this. Similar to f1 of k plus n by 4, f2 of k plus n by 4 can be written. We are going to use equation 9, 10, 11, 12 for drawing the second stage of decimation. This diagram already we have derived for first stage of decimation. Here the 2 n by 2 point DFT is changed to 4 n by 4 point DFTs. Here the first pair of inputs corresponds to V11 of n, second pair of input corresponds to V. 1 2 of n, third pair of inputs corresponds to v2 1 of n and fourth pair of inputs corresponds to v2 2 of n where v1 1 of n equal to f1 of 2n, v1 2 of n is equal to f1 of 2n plus 1, v2 1 of n is equal to 
f2 of 2n v22 of n is equal to f2 of 2n plus 1. The relationship between f1 of n and f2 of n with x of n is given in this previous diagram. So we can assign x of n values for each v of n values. Here the dft of small v of n is given by capital V of k. Equation 9 gives f1 of k. Here k is varying from 0 to n by 4 minus 1. So k is having the value 0 and 1. Where w4 power 0 is equal to w8 power 0 which is also equal to w2 power 0. All the values will be equal to 1. Where w4 power 1 is equal to w8 power 2 f1 of 0 is equal to v11 of 0 plus v12 of 0 multiplied with w of 4 power 0. So we draw a line here. Similarly for f1 of 1. Equation 10 gives f1 of k plus n by 4. Here k is vary from 0 to n by 4 minus 1. That is 0 and 1. When we apply this equation, in the diagram we draw a line with minus symbol. Similarly, we draw for f2 of k. Now let us see the last stage of decimation. We know the dft of x of n is given by x of k. We are going to take the first n by 4 point dft. Here the input is v11 of n. The dft of v11 of n is given by capital V11 of k. V11 of k is a 2 point dft, so k is having the value 0 and 1. When k is equal to 0, we get v11 of 0. Here w2 power 0 is equal to 1. When k is equal to 1, we get v11 of 1. Where w2 power 1 is equal to minus 1. So for this equation, we draw the 2 point dft. Here the input is v11 of n and the output is capital v11 of k. We know that w2 power 0 is equal to 1, which is also equal to w4 power 0. Similarly, we can draw for the remaining n by 4 point DFTs. Now let us see the overall butterfly diagram for DIT algorithm. Here we combine all the stages of decimation that is 8 point, 4 point and 2 point. Here x of n are inputs that are bit reversed. Capital X of k corresponds to the output. Uh, x of k starts from x of 0 not from 1 and ends with x of 7, not with x of 8. This is the first stage of decimation. This is the second stage of decimation. This is the last stage of decimation. Finally, we got the butterfly diagram for 8.50 using DAT algorithm.